Hudson. Here we go. Here we are in Green Bay at the Don Hudson Center. What's happening? A couple Packer fans driving by. Just a couple. On Oneida Street. So, what do we say first here? We're here and you're not. So we're gonna bring it to you and tell you what it is. We know you'd like to be here, but we saved you a spot. We saved you a spot right here in the front row. Anyhow, uh, this is Joey T and Sean McQuillan from Green Bay. Sean is uh, an avid Packer fan and he's gonna give us a, an analysis on the defense. So what we're gonna talk about is, uh, well, what I'd like to talk about is, is Clay Matthews and Nick Perry. I think they are the key to making this defense turn around. And uh, I don't know, it's a lot of money being spent by the Packers, but we as fans don't really care about that. We just want them to perform. A lot of people are down on Matthews right now. I haven't given up on him. How do you feel about it, Sean? I really do hope he breaks out of, breaks out of his funk and I hope he has a great season. I do see him as a player that's probably going to still miss a few games in there. I think we'll know more as training camp develops. Make sure yeah. he's not injured. He's coming into the season healthy. I'd really, just like to you know step back and see a, a little more of him leading up into the regular season. The defense as a whole, I would say I'm still concerned about the Packers' defense. I, I thought they had a great draft. They definitely addressed the needs, but with the loss of Hyde and other key players, I'm not so sure that Green Bay has gotten better, but maybe, or are they really more the same? So I guess time will tell. One question I have in a, a very local view here is a lot of fans are wondering, you know, the, the offense is obviously not going to be the issue. It's going right. to be stronger this year. Right. But going back to the defense again, what level of defense does Green Bay need to reach the Super Bowl? That's a great point. I, what? I, I, I don't mean to interrupt no. you here. It's just, you know, the offense has improved so much. You know, I was telling Sean earlier that Lance Kendricks, I mean, he is a beast out there. You know, uh, Martellus Bennett, obviously, he's talked about constantly, but I'm really big on Lance Kendricks because I, you know, I see that Mark Chimura, Keith Jackson era, and how great that was for Farr, sure. you know, then it, it, and it improved our team so much, you know, and that's kind of the question we have is, is how much better our offense is, does that kind of like cover up the defense so it doesn't really have to be as good as we want it to be because we don't really see a, a, a lights out defense. Let's face it, this team just doesn't, we're just not there yet, so. Yeah, it does, it always seems to lack in the physicality mm -hmm. and it, it definitely, what I would really like to see is a veteran, veteran piece bring some more leadership to that defense. Mm -hmm. I know you expect it from Matthews and some of the other veteran players on that team, Morgan Burnett, but I still believe they need a little more veteran experience, a little fire to get to there. Um, I mean, I don't think people want to keep seeing the same thing that we've seen the last few seasons. The offense has been good enough to get to the Super Bowl. You know, again, do we need a 15, we need to be in the 15 top ranked defense to get to the Super Bowl? It's going to ride a lot on Aaron Rodgers as it has in the past. A lot of the development players are coming up. I guess we're going to see it for ourselves if, if Green Bay has solidified something this year. You know, and also Sean and I were talking about, you know, we, you don't really see much change in, in the defense here in Green Bay because you've had, let's face it, Dom Capers has been there uh, for many years. So we're seeing that repetitious D and, and in the off season, you know, we had so many fans on the page and on the site, you know, kind of down on Capers a little bit. I I think the guy's a good coach. I, I, I like him, I, I you know, people don't want to hear about injury and you mentioned that too. You know, we don't want to, you want to expand a little well, bit about I just, that? I, I kind of feel like over the past few seasons of failures, last year there were a lot of injuries, and that does right. have a lot of effect. But being in a, I consider the 3-4 defense a little more high risk than the 4-3. And every year cannot be the same excuse that right. players were injured. Right. There just doesn't, there still seems to be something missing with that. So, not, you know, not sure we fix that yet. Right. And, you know, it, it, you have to ask, ask the question to yourself. Is age a factor? You know, a, a, a younger, more youthful defensive coordinator. You know, is that does this organization need a uh, something more fresh like that? Mike McCarthy likes. He's loyal to Dom Capers. He said it. He he goes public about it. He he feels that you know it's more. There's more value in keeping the nucleus together than you know. 
In other words, just because you have change doesn't mean that's a quick fix. And I, I think yeah. that's an interesting subject too. It's like, okay, you fire Don Capers, now you get this guy, what happens if he's not successful? Sure, sure. You know, you're taking that risk. Well, I think like they, that. I think what, you know, they've stuck with it for so long, their investment in what they draft for is still based around the three fours, still based around Dom Capers' system. Yeah. They've been given a lot of chances, and I think the team as a whole, all the coaches, there's a lot, there's a lot on the line. And, you know, at Green Bay, locally here, we're waiting to see a better defense on the field. More physicality, and we, and I'm not so sure, again, we have addressed all that pass rush need. Okay. Thank you, and uh, stay tuned. We'll be back. Take care.